Eva of Real Housewives of Atlanta married a successful businessman, Michael Sterling. He adopted her daughter from a past relationship and raised her as his own, along with two other children that the two of them had together. Eva filed for divorce and is demanding he pay child support for all three kids plus spousal support. Now we see a comment at the bottom of this post that says, that's his child now. He adopted her. That's what adopted means. Secondly, if he hadn't cheated, he wouldn't have to worry about this because he'd still be married. This is the 11 millionth reason <laughs> that men are discouraged from raising other men's children. Now, I personally would never say to a man, if a woman has children, that, you know, oh, you shouldn't be with her, or oh, you shouldn't be supportive of her child, or oh, you know, you shouldn't step in and play that role. I would absolutely never say that because context is always needed in every single situation, right? There are, are going to be situations where you're not going to have women who are bitter or vindictive or who are not going to throw uh, your kindness back in your face at the end of a situation when things didn't work out between the two of you. And, uh, you know, they're not going to go against the grain and try to hit you where it hurts. Okay. However, women who do not operate, operate like that are actually uh, anomalies. They are not the norm. What we see normally is men who step up and step in and defend, take care of, support children that do not belong to him. It is very rare, rare, didn't say that it's impossible. However, it is very rare that these men see a return on their investment. Just got to be honest. A lot of these men step up to the plate. They provide their finances, their funds, you know, their time. They step up and they step in and they try to, you know, assist this child in growth. They try to be that man that is, that is in that child's life. And, uh, you know, he thought he was doing the right thing by adopting her so that all children can feel like they have one father. They all have one last name. I don't know if he changed her name last night or not, uh, her last name or not. But they try to, uh, at the very least, do their best to make that child feel uh, cared for, loved on. And what makes the matters worse, right? And, and let's be clear, we don't know that if he cheated or not. But even if he did, that does not matter. The, word, the key word in this situation is the word demand. Because this just shows the true nature of how women uh, move and the way that they do things based off of emotion. This is why a lot of men don't want to get married. This is why a lot of men don't want to be stepfathers. This is why uh, men look at, at single mothers in a certain light. And again, all single mothers are not made equally. There are single mothers out there who they look at women like this and they were like, they're giving us a bad name because we would never do that. Let's just be clear. But these are the reasons why. Because men get into these situations and again, he was not told to. He was not uh, instructed to adopt her. He was not forced to adopt her, adopt this child. He was in a space that said, I love this woman. I'm going to take her child um, and this woman. I'm going to cover both of them. I'm going to protect both of them. I'm going to uh, protect the both of them. And so since I'm doing so for her and for her child, I'm also going to do the same for uh, my children because I don't want this child to be separate. And now she's saying, well, now you better take care of all of them. But you came here with that, that child. When you came here, that child was your responsibility and you were always taken care of. Because of my kindness, I decided to assist you. Because of my kindness. It's not because it was, it's never been a had to. It was never a had to thing. Because that child came into the relationship, you had already had that child. We, we created two children. 
to make it a, you know, an even playing field for everybody, I treated that child like it was my child, but that child really got a daddy. But before you came into this relationship, allegedly that child was not taken care of by the original daddy. So you wanted me to support that child. Out of the kindness of my heart, while we're together, I did support that child. But now you're forcing me. Now there's a demand. Now you telling me what I better do. And the comment section is filled filled of bitter women, single women. Okay, which sometimes that goes hand in hand. <laughs> they be single and bitter. Uh, women who are vindictive. All telling this man what he better did, what he should have done, what he this and what he did, and what all of these things. Let the shoe have been on the other foot. Let Eva have been the breadwinner in this situation. Let her have come into a relationship with this man who already had a child, right? She comes into the relationship and she's like, I love you. I love him. You know, we all live together in this fairy tale land. I'm going to support you guys. I'm going to assist you guys. Let them then have two more children and Eva cheated. Somehow, some way, the women in the comment sections would find a way to make it the man's fault to relieve Eva of any problems, any financial burden. Be Oh, well, that's his kid. He needs to man up and take care of this kid. Oh, well, she cheated. Well, maybe he the one that didn't do this. And maybe he the one that dropped the ball. Because look at her. This is full of hypocrisy. Ignorance, and uh, to be honest, that bitter nature that a lot of these women cling to, and it's distasteful. This man, out of the kindness of his heart, decided to take care of this child. And and again, when we when we want to talk about child support and all that, this is why men think one, two, three, four, five times. 10 times before they decide if they're going to marry this woman and um, decide if they even want to step up to the plate and play that part. Because a lot of times in divorces, whether that man adopted that child or not, when there's stepchildren in the mix, most of the time that man still has to pay child support. Whether they were his, his adopted children or not, if the mother and the father lived in the household and there were stepkids in that household, more times than not, the man still has to pay child support for those kids, whether he adopted them or not. What makes matters worse, again, is her demand. That's throwing it back in his face. And this also is, is sending the wrong signal to women out there because it's letting women know that at any time I can pull the rug from under this man's feet and he's going to have to provide me with the lifestyle that I become, quote unquote, accustomed to. So if I marry this man who is financially capable of taking care of me and my child and I'm with him for about two to three years, I can just, you know, fake the funk for this amount of time. So that I can then pull the rug from under his feet and I can still maintain this lifestyle without having to fake the funk and be with this man that I really don't want to be with. It's sending the wrong signal. And, and these women are so delusional. Like this comment. Well, he that's his child. He the one that's supposed to ignorant. Because again, if we turn it around... And we put the woman in the same position with the man. All of a sudden, the woman is free of responsibility. So why isn't it the same way with this man? Regardless of the situation. And I also think that when it comes to child support, if, if a man and a woman are not living together. And a man is, is uh, they should both be required to pay for this child. I've never understood the fact that if a man and a woman no longer live together and the women are living with the father or I mean, sorry, living with the mother, that the father is responsible for all the expenses for the child. Because where's her part? Where's her 50 percent? These are kids, too. Right. That's why uh, most of the time the women get to keep the kids in the house with them. So where's her 50 percent? Why is a man covering 100 percent of expenses? Where's her half? 
Y'all be fighting. Oh, the woman made the child. Exactly. So that's her responsibility too, right? So where's her percentage of, of financial responsibility? That's just my opinion. Okay. This is my opinion. I saw it. I want to talk about it. I want to know you guys' opinions in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts on this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Love you. Thank you.